Star Trek fans are furious right now. As if the international release of content issues was not enough for Trekkies, the official Star Trek fan event has been cancelled for 2023. This follows the cancellation of the UK event for 2022 early this year. What's going on? Why are Paramount, the IP owners of Star Trek, treating fans this way? Should we be concerned about the future of the Star Trek universe? Thankfully we've got new information, you'll want to hear about what's happening right now. Stick with me, this is going to be one of those videos, and if you have questions, comment away and I'll respond to you the best I can. Welcome to Trek Central, I'm your host Captain Jack. Now, before we warp into this video, if you want to keep up to date on all the latest Star Trek news, lore and more, then make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video from the team here at Trek Central. Okay, engage. You know, lately it has been feeling rather difficult to be a Star Trek fan outside of the shows. Sure, we're getting the likes of Star Trek Picard Season 3 and Strange New Worlds. But when it comes to celebrating our fandom, Paramount seem on a mission to make it harder and harder each year. Now we're faced with a cancellation of Mission Seattle, Destination Star Trek UK, and likely Germany for good. We'll go over both of these as each has its own set of issues, especially Destination Star Trek, which is riddled with mismanagement and near enough fraud, might I say. Look at it like this. It's two major official events run by two different companies. The common denominator here is Paramount. Now, given the world economy right now, it may simply come down to business. It's just good business. Well, not good business, but you get my point. Still, it sucks to leave fans in the dark right now, especially with a lack of communication. It follows a Read What Post event in Chicago earlier this year, which Read themselves counted as successful. However, Boots on the Ground report is a little bit underwhelming, with not much going on. Earlier this week, a development appeared online suggesting the upcoming Seattle event next year had been cancelled. Following rapid fan speculation and concerns of those who had made travel plans based on the event announcement earlier this year, Reboot and Paramount issued a statement confirming the cancellation of the official event. In all honesty, when writing this, the announcement itself feels half assed and does not care about the Star Trek community. It's barely any explanation to the fans, as usual. It pays me to say, but as a Star Trek fan, we've come to expect a lack of communication from official companies. I put the announcement on screen now so you can also read it. But you can find it on the Star Trek Missions website, which I'll link down below in the description. As one Trekkie points out, the message does not give fans closure. It's not really a good look for Paramount. Personally, I can't imagine this read be Readpop's decision. The company is well versed in running many different size events around the world. We ourselves have just returned from MC and Comic Con London and New York Comic Con, two Readpop events. One of our crews also just visited MCM Comic Con Birmingham, all ran well under the Readpop banner. It took one fan reaching out to prompt this response. So we also have to ask ourselves the question. What if this person didn't reach out? This announcement was evidently not planned this week, judging by the timing of a release window. As soon as news broke, I personally reached out to Reedpop PR and Paramount's PR team. Reed did eventually respond with the same statement just copy and pasted, but only after the announcement, and Paramount said they would get back to me, which they did two hours after the news had come out as official. Slightly disappointing, might I say, especially when they had a couple of days. Fan response is going down about as well as you can imagine. I'll put some tweets on screen now, Suffice it to say, many are disappointed about this, including me. I was planning on taking out of as many of the Trek Central team to celebrate Star Trek with you, the fans. At this rate, I'm half tempted to run an unofficial event here in the UK. Seriously, make, make me do this, we might as well at this point. You might be asking Jack, why would Paramount pull the plug on their flagship event after only relaunching it last year? The simple answer is money. As a business, Paramount is not doing the best right now. No matter what you think of them, it's just a fact. Earlier this week, Deadline reported that Paramount Global would be laying off part of its workforce due to cost-saving measures. We're seeing other major companies worldwide, like Facebook under Meta, doing a similar thing to save money and be more cost-effective. This sucks for the employees, and my heart and respect goes out to them, and I hope they find new places as well. However, an event cancellation is a telling sign that a business is not doing super well. While Readpop runs the event, Paramount starts to bear the costs involved, or most of them. Events are also very expensive and hard to turn a profit, especially when they are a niche market. By that, I mean Mission Seattle will not be open to all pop culture fans, like New York Comic Con, for example. Therefore, visitor and ticket sale numbers are drastically different and smaller than other events. Early this month, Deadline again reported on Paramount Global having business issues. Stock for the company had dropped in pre-market trading. This follows the company reporting its third quarter financial results, which could have gone down better in the grand scheme of things, shall we say. So what does this mean for the future of Star Trek? Well, if a company is already pulling out on things like events, 
it won't be long before it will start creeping into other areas. Don't be surprised if things like shows potentially get affected in the future, we'll talk about this in a minute. I mean, the first thing to go are the things offer little in return, so high cost events. Then you sort of move on to other things elsewhere, or sort of cutting costs elsewhere. We've certainly already seen it with employees as well, but will it affect Star Trek series? Perhaps. I mean, let's see if Discovery moves to Season 6 or not, that's probably going to be a telling sign of how well Pam is doing. If you've been following the Star Trek event space this year, you might have heard of Destination Star Trek, no matter where you are in the UK or worldwide at this point. The event, which is run by live sea company Showmass Limited, also known as Mass Events Limited, was on course to host the official UK Destination Star Trek event in London. However, things got complicated when the show was unexpectedly cancelled, therefore leaving those who had bought tickets, flights and hotels rather upset. Now, the DSD issue grew into an even bigger issue if you can imagine it. When you pay for something, and you can no longer get what you paid for, you're typically refunded, right? That sounds normal. However, Showmasters, or rather Massive Events Limited, appear to have had other ideas regarding refunds. Initially, they transferred fans' tickets to another event earlier this year, which was London Film and Comic Con. Now, many did not want this. Rightly so, fans want their money back. Some will maybe go to another event, but I'd want my money back. Thanks to some of our reporting and publications, such as The Mirror on Sunday stepping in, the events company was pressured into giving fans their money back. Hammond eventually responded to our request for comment and said they wanted to focus on only one European event, DST Germany. However, and I mean however and stick with me, the situation worsened when a showmaster's company whistleblower exposed Paramount's decision to cancel the event. That's right, Paramount cancelled the event, not the event's company. According to marketing manager Jill Upgrove, who was frustrated by the treatment of Star Trek fans, Paramount Global were the ones who pulled the plug on the UK and European Star Trek events. During her statement, Jill states her frustration at how Paramount is apparently not owning up to its own actions, resulting in harm to the Star Trek fandom. Additionally, she has decided to go public so the fans can understand what is actually happening behind the scenes. She's also outright stated that it is Paramount who decided to cancel the event and there, therefore, they are the ones responsible for the ongoing damage to the fandom. You can read full versions of these stories via Trekzy.net, which I encourage you to do if you want all the information and the full statements. Links in the video description. I'm going to be honest with you, this entire situation is just frustrating. As Star Trek fans, we're just being pushed to the side. You look at other large franchises and you have these massive global premieres for shows and global events. Then for Star Trek, it's either US based or nothing at all right now. As a Star Trek fan, it just feels like we're being shafted at the minute. Coupled with a lack of actual any communication with Paramount and those involved in any official capacity is getting rather annoying. What is the end result here? we might be the end of the road for official Star Trek events. Paramount wanted us to point out to fans that the Star Trek cruise is still scheduled to sail next year. However, my counterpoint to that point there, Paramount, is the cruise starts around about $2,000 per person. So it's not as convenient as spending $50 or £50 on a convention ticket. I'm not joking by the way, I'll put these prices on screen right now. This is the current availability for next year's cruise. Yes, this is leaving it to the last minute, but it's even so, the minimum package is still above a grand off the top of my head. You know, I think the next 6-12 to 12 months will tell you about the future of the Star Trek universe. If things are bad, the end of Star Trek Picard Season 3 will also shine a real light on what's happening. So, stick around. Let me know what you think in the comments below. All relevant information and articles will be linked in the video description. So read those if you need your additional context what we've spoken about today. As always, if you want to keep up to date on all the latest Star Trek news, lore and more, make sure to hit that subscribe button to never miss a video from the team here at Trek Central. You can also follow us on social media or join our community Discord server. But for now, I've been Captain Jack. Thank you for joining me today and having a discussion. I know it's been a bit of a rant video, but hopefully you guys appreciate being kept in the loop. I will see you next time. Live long and prosper, my friends. Goodbye.